So as we're to understand, you're refusing to cooperate. This is part of the agreement that you signed. Upon your arrival, you would have- I'm not a guinea pig, and I ain't doing shit. You signed an agreement guaranteeing your participation. I don't give two fucks about that agreement. And I ain't moving till somebody tells me what the hell is going on here. One of y'all can start by letting me know where I'm at. You're in a temporary holding cell in one of our facilities. This will have to do for the time being. That doesn't tell me anything. See, to be honest with you, I don't even remember being brought here. The last thing I remember is being taken back to my cell after I signed some paper. Is this some black site or something? I am not at liberty to say. That's pretty much a yes right there. So who's the head of this one? CIA, FBI, DHS? Or is this some MK Ultra bullshit? I assure you we have nothing to do with that. This is strictly need to know, and all you need to know is that you have a chance to gain your freedom. But that's only if I agree, right? I'm a pass, bro. We made you the offer. You signed. You are obligated to comply. I said no. You know, if this deal isn't to your liking, I'm sure then we can arrange to have you taken back right where we found you. Level four maximum security prison, 12 years left on your sentence, possession with the intent to distribute, and assaulting an officer. It's not the worst I've seen. Still, quite the story. You know, given the terms of your sentence, I could understand why you would leap at the opportunity for a pardon. However, there must have been something else to drive you to do this. <sighs> Tell me, when was the last time you saw your son? This was taken a week ago. If you've done anything to him. He's fine. Don't worry. He's in school, and from what it seems, he's actually a very good student. I know you love your son. And much is evident. But can you say the same for your ex-wife's family? From what I understand, your ex-father-in-law is a rather violent alcoholic. Imagine a child being brought up in that environment. Lewis. I'm sorry? I'll do it. Thank you. I forget why you're doing this. You have to change in the business specifications. You have five minutes. <laughs> 